Hello and welcome to my new channel. It's called Searching for Knowledge. It's going to be about fish keeping and today we're going to set up a um, new Fluball Flex all-in-one aquarium. I'm going to show you what I did to it to modify the filtration system. Now, the biggest complaint I hear about the filtration system of the Fluball Flex and some of the other Fluball tanks is stale water in the filter. It's not uh, water doesn't flow fast enough through the filtration material. So today I'm going to show you what I did to modify the filter. Uh, the first thing I wanted to do was add a little bit of extra light to the tank. I do like planted tanks, so I wasn't really sure how well this light system would work. So I had an extra little uh, LED light that was used on a little two and a half gallon aquarium and it did a great job growing plants. So I took some Velcro and stuck it to the top of the hood. If I don't use it, it'll be easy to take off. So I removed the mounting brackets, stuck the Velcro to it, and stuck it to the top of the aquarium lid. Uh, put it pretty close to the other light. Uh, it does have its own off and on switch, and I do have them on a timer. So if I don't need it, I can cut it off. Uh, this is what the tank looks like when you take it out of the box. The uh, cardboard box that you're seeing in the back right is the pump. The sponge you see in the filter in the, is the filter that comes with it in the center. Uh, I don't care for how it's set up, so I'm going to show you what I do to modify it. I keep guppies, so I wanted to make sure that my little guppies couldn't get through this filter. So I took some cross-stitch matting, cut it to fit, and added it into the little pop-on uh, filter covers. Uh, these covers do minimize the holes, the holes that are there are a little bit larger, but just wasn't enough. Uh, this is the how I basically am going to stop up the bottom intake filter. I took a slip-on fil filter that goes on a hang on the back canister and I cut about a third of it off what I cut off I actually placed on the inside because there is a hole in the center and I popped this on the bottom. Right now it's flowing through but eventually uh, guys this is going to stop up with nitritis and gunk and it's not going to flow through the bottom which is what I want. Um, I did some filter modifications to basically force the water through the whole system. It's not just going to flow at a very slow manner through the filtration system it's going to be forced through to where it's going to filter a whole lot better. Um, this tank in the center where the big sponge went, it has like a, a ridge that goes across that stopped the filter from going too low. So I took some grading. I bought this off of Amazon. I will put the links to everything I used. And I cut a piece to, fix, to fit and put it in the bottom of the center section. Underneath that I will fill it full of bio balls. All the extra bio material you can put in the filter, the better filtration system you're going to have in the tank. Uh, this is what I used for the center section and I'm going to add ceramic, mostly ceramic media on top of this grate. Like I said, this is for the center section. This is what I did for the first section. The long piece fits up against the back then I made a little shelf so I can put some filter floss and polyester fiber in there because like I said our water is going to be coming only through the top so it's going to be forced to flow across all of this filter media. And the way I made this happen is I took some silicone and I stopped some of the holes up. I put some packing tape on the back side of these, all of these holes, only left the bottom two of these slits open, put some silicone over it and let it dry and then pulled the tape off. The way it's supposed to work is the water flows across and then there's a hole at the bottom where it comes in by the filter. I actually siliconed the slit where it came out by the filter. I siliconed that off also and then took a, uh, if you could see where I siliconed it off, and that way it stops the water from coming up at the bottom. It's going to have to fill the second chamber up and then come out 
this hole that I made with a soldering iron. It's about a one inch hole. That's going to force the water to go come in the first section, go all the way, not all the way down, but about three inches from the bottom. Um, I did put bio balls below in the first section and the center section. That's the center section. I'm sorry, that's the first section and that's the center section. I did put them in a bag in the first section. In the center section, I was not able to. Uh, with this bracket that I made, I'm able to put a piece of filter floss in there and then put some good polyester fiber on top of that. And I also added a bag of bio rings that I took out of one of my other filters to add some already established uh, filter media into this tank. In the center section for ceramic media, I bought some <clears throat> ceramic blocks off of Amazon. And these ceramic blocks I thought it was a great price. You get this big box of 24 pieces for $15. Uh, the pieces are inch and an eighth square by four inches long. I was able to put 11 of these in the center of the filtration system. So I've got enough left over to either do another tank or put in another filter system. Another thing I wanted to do was be able to add a UV sterilizer light to the tank. Uh, as you can see, this is how it comes out of the box, the uh, ceramic media. You get, there's 12 in each section. Like I said, I was only able to use 11. And I place them crossways in the center section. That way the water that's flowing through the bottom, two little slits that I left open, are gonna flow across the ceramic blocks forcing the uh, water to flow across these blocks is going to wash away the old bacteria and provide place for new bacteria to keep growing in the tank. The beneficial bacteria is the life of your tank. Uh, this is how when I got through and got it filled up, this is what it looks like. Like I said, I got 11 of those blocks in the center. That's the bio media that I took out of another tank, the ceramic rings that are in a bag. Uh, this is a UV sterilizer light that I found off of Amazon. It does fit in the back of the filter uh, where the pump is. I added my heater, aquarium heater, and I also added this UV light. I want to make sure the UV light worked because it was only 10 bucks and I thought that's pretty cheap for a 7 watt UVB light, or excuse me, UV light. Uh, so I turned it on for just a couple of seconds actually and you could smell the ozone emitting off of it immediately. I unplugged it, placed it in the tank and this is what it looked like in the tank when it was running. Uh, that's a top view and that's a side view from the bottom outside right side bottom. Looks pretty good. Uh, right now I'm not going to run it till the bacteria establishes well in the tank. Uh, it establish, It also will kill the good bacteria as well as the bad bacteria in your tank, so I'm not going to run it for probably the first couple of weeks. This is what it looked like when I got it filled up. Uh, I put some Fluval media in the bottom of it, did not rinse it, um, wasn't really that bad. This is mostly air bubbles that you're seeing. Uh, within about an hour I let it settle and run a little bit, added about an inch of gravel on top of the media and then I added the plants to it and I was really surprised how fast this tank cleared up. The plants I put in here are temporary. I have some other aquarium plants coming and we'll, I'll show you those in another video. Um, I set it up about Probably about three o'clock in the afternoon and this picture video was actually taken three hours later. You can see how clear it, that the pump you know made the tank within just a few hours. Like I said, I was really surprised. Uh, a lot of the air bubbles actually dissipated out of the tank as well within that time period. I've got just a couple of fish in the tank to get it established. We'll be checking the nitrates, nitrite levels on a daily basis. 
Stay tuned for our next video. Please subscribe to the channel. Next, we're going to be doing some moss trees. Uh, this is a little spider wood uh, cluster that I put together, and I have a manzani tree coming, and we've got, we've got some also some different type of moss that I'll explain to you also about. It actually doesn't grow like java moss. It grow, grows more upright. So we're going to be making some ground cover and some trees out of the moss and adding some new plants to the tank. So come along for the ride and uh, like I said, subscribe to the channel. And hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, I will be posting the uh, links of all the products that are used for the tank in the description below.